know more about what's being done to keep people safe from both severe weather and the coronavirus. With the chance for strong storms tomorrow, officials are asking you to take some extra precautions if you're going to head to your safe space. Way 31's Casey Albritton joins us live after talking with the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. Casey. The Morgan County Sheriff's Office says if you absolutely have to go to a storm shelter like the high school shelter right behind me, you should bring some hand sanitizer and some wipes with you. Well, if a tornado is coming and I got the storm shelter close by, I'm going to go get the storm shelter. I mean, I know everybody's worried about the coronavirus and all that, but I mean, you got to think about your life. Daniel King says the coronavirus isn't going to stop him from using a storm shelter in an emergency situation. There's a possibility you can get the virus and, you know, end up being good, but you're not going to survive a tornado. The Morgan County Sheriff's Office told me it's always important to stay weather aware. So you should have a plan in place, whether it's going to a neighbor's house that has a basement, going to a family family member's house that is more secure. And if you do end up at a storm shelter, there are some things you should do to protect yourself and others. If you are sick or you have some symptoms, you need to wear a mask. Uh, you know, people can't wear gloves. Uh, cover your cough. And King says he hopes people take the recommendations seriously. And there's really no way around you know, being close to each other in the, that tight of a spot, but I guess just, you know, try not to cough on anybody, try to keep your distance, I mean, as much as you can. The Morgan County Sheriff's Office says if you do decide to bring in cleaning supplies, it shouldn't be more than what would fill the size of a purse. Reporting live in Decatur, Casey Albert and Way 31 News.